Welcome to globalytraining.com. Globalytraining.com offers online courses covering various software technologies. New courses are added on a regular basis. You can email us at training at globalytraining.com or you can call us at 732-588-6564. Hello. Welcome everyone. Welcome back to the video series on uh, VB scripting. In this video, we will look at uh, the input box. I mean, we will use input box to get input from the user. So we're going to learn that. It's actually quite simple. Uh, we'll use the keyword uh, called input box and we will use that to get input from the user. So let's uh, run the script and see how it behaves. Then we'll go back and look at, uh, you know, the script and try to understand each line and what it means and how it actually brings in, you know, quite a bit of customizations to your script. So let me go ahead and run the script first. Okay, this script, you know, it's prompting uh, and says that, you know, enter your name. And I have OK and cancel button, enter your name. I'll say um, global etraining.com okay it says enter your first number I'm gonna put 10 it says enter the second number I'm gonna put 20 I get hello globally training.com and it says sum of two numbers is 10 and 20 I know that 10 plus 20 is 30 but we are seeing 10 20 We'll look into that, but you know, for now, I just wanted you to show you how the script runs and uh, you know, show you the input box primarily. So now let's go ahead and uh, look at the script. So the initial prompt where it was prompting you to enter the name is coming from here. You know, by the way, I'm kind of skipping this area because I'm sure by now uh, you all know that there's a header with all comments and I'm sure you have a good understanding on option explicit and on error resume next and here I've declared variables I'm skipping all that getting straight into the input box statement so here uh, the, the syntax is that uh, you put use input box which is the keyword to you know prompt for the input and uh, you know whatever you put in there becomes as a text uh, as a message on the input box and uh, you know this automatically the way this works is it will prompt you to enter the data and when you hit OK whatever value key in goes into this variable which is name and next uh, you saw that you know it was prompting for uh, a number and I mean it's actually the text which says and enter the first number so you know we're gonna put some number in there which we did and we put 10 in there and then we had a, a second I mean to say the third input box where it says and enter the second number for which we keyed in 20 and um, you know it's gonna take that value into this input uh, two. so what we did here in line 28 is you know sum equal to input 1 plus input 2 and as we have seen in the past that you know we can simply add numbers you know we did something I believe uh, example say for example x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 you could do z equal to x plus y which would be 1 plus 2 3 that's very natural but here uh, for whatever reason we try to add 10 and 20 instead of giving us 30 it was displaying you know kind of uh, 10 and 20 next to each other right it was just concatenating it's it's kind of treating it as a text and not as a number because when we um, keyed in the name as globallytraining.com you know it took that string and said hello you know whatever name but in this case it just took the two numbers and kind of you know joined 10 and 2 kind of next to each other 
so we'll try to figure this out we'll address this in the next script but um, uh, the whole point here is to you know, kind of show you uh, how the input box works so you know this is a very simple keyword you use it you get the input from the user assign it to the variable and you know you start using that variable through your script okay well uh, that's a basic thing about input box let's get into another script and look at uh, you know, look you know kind of, kind of try to you know we'll try to understand more about the input box Okay, here is our uh, next script and in this script we will fix the issue that we had with adding the numbers because we tried to add two numbers when specifically we tried to add 10 and 2 sorry 10 and 20 and we got 1020 instead of 30 so let's run this script and see how this works so in enter your name um, I'll do global E training.com enter your first number I'm going to give 10 just like the other time and I'm going to go 20 it says hello globally training.com which is coming from line 29 right and okay well now this time it worked sum of two numbers is 30 we gave 10 and 20 10 plus 20 is 30 we know that so this time it worked so let's go back and you know try to understand the script so again the top version I'm going to skip all this uh, by now you should be very familiar with uh, you know uh, with all these things you know declaring variables and understanding these two options here well here is uh, similar to the first script uh, I'm getting the input from the user asking for the name and then asking for the first number and the second number and sending these values into input 1 and input 2 and then I did a little bit different uh, the text that we keyed in it could be a text as we did in the case of uh, the first prompt we gave globally training.com and we know for sure that it is not a number it's a text but the uh, second time which were for this prompt we keyed in 10 which is a number we know that but script I mean it has no clue if it's a text or number same thing with the third prompt we gave 20 but you know the script kind of took two and zero it, it has no clue it just thinks there are two characters so the way this works is by default the user input box whatever you key in takes it as a string and treats it like a string but we have to convert it into an integer before we can start using it so a C int which is convert to int um, so this function will take a string and convert that into a number or an integer I mean you cannot put T and 10 there something like this I mean tr and expect it to convert that into number 10 I mean that's not what I'm meaning here uh, it, <clears throat> let's say you put 50 say for example let's say you do something like this sum is called 50 plus this and 50 by default is going to treat it as a, an integer treat it as a number 50 uh, th but that's not the case here we're getting the input from the user and we are then converting the user input to the actual you know integer that that is what we are trying to do so input one okay so we're converting the input one which is this one and here we're converting the input two and after the conversion they get added so 10 plus 20 is 30 and that's the reason why it's working just fine as expected and you all know these uh, message boxes syntax and how this works so a uh, quick uh, run through the script so all we did was we had three prompts and uh, we converted two of the prompts or the input data into actual integers and then we added to get the total of the numbers okay let's go ahead and run the script one more time uh, let me save it okay we'll say John this time and we'll give 25 and 50 so welcome John 
sum of two numbers is 75, which is 25 plus 15, which is 75, which is correct. So, well, look, the script is working just fine. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next script on input box and try to, you know, learn more about the input box. So in this script, you know, it's going, I kind of introduced a little more um, customizations into uh, input box. Let's go ahead and run it and see. So it prompted, look at the, pay attention to the position, the way the box is moving. So it says enter your name. I want to say global e training.com. Okay. And look at this. It says enter input here. Uh, normally this input box would be blank, but there is something there. Um, you know, you can click there. I'm going to say enter the first number. I'm going to do 50. Okay. See, look at this, the box, the input box moved to the left. Enter the second number. I'm going to do uh, 75. 50 plus 75 is 125. So welcome globally training.com. Okay, some of the two numbers is 125, which is correct. But um, in this script, you know, it is working as expected. It's prompting you to enter your name, then prompting for two numbers and adding it correctly. But what we have seen is that it is a little bit different compared to the other scripts. One was, you know, it had a little bit of customization and then uh, it kind of moved to a different spot. I mean, why do we have to move again? You know, it all depends on your requirement and what you're dealing with. You may have to sometimes. Anyway, let's uh, go through the script. I'm going to start uh, from here. Uh, so here, simple input box is prompting to enter the name it says that enter your name even if you enter 20 30 you know it's not going to know it's going to treat it as a text and then we did a little bit of customization here by default all i had was a text here in this in on line 25 i have comma the site title which is nothing but uh, www.globalitrunning.com and then i had comma and i have uh, enter input here so this is the default text that is being displayed within the text box on the input box. We'll look at that again. And then within the with the third prompt, in addition to the title and the default text, we give x and y coordinates. So based on that, you know, it's moving by default. It is displayed in the center of your monitor. And here I'm saying specifically, you know, uh, move to that a certain spot. And then rest of the script is same, taking the input, converting them into integers, adding them, and displaying the message. So I hope uh, you all are following. If you have, you know, let's say, I mean, you can always rewind and, you know, kind of watch the, this section again. Uh, let, me, let me run this uh, script again one more time. So enter your name, which is, uh, I'll say this time, um, John. Uh, look at this here. The title at the top, globallytraining.com, is coming from this, you know, this site title here, comma, and this thing here. That's where it's coming from. And uh, enter input here. This thing is coming from here. So whatever you put in there will be displayed here, and by default, the whole text is selected. So once you start keying in, you know, it'll be gone. So you, know, you can uh, say, for example, in Windows uh, 7 and Windows 8, uh, your password field when you try to log in you know it has a grayed out you know not really grayed out but it's like within the text box the password box uh password input box you will see you know password in a, in a in a gray color it's kind of in the background kind of tells you that hey you know enter your password here so it's kind of helping the user to input some information so you, you will use it for the same purpose it's a little bit of customization so enter 50 there and see look at here the whole thing is same, the title, the enter input here, but I had uh, 5,000, 5,000, it moved it here. So I'm going to put 40 there. Welcome, John. 40 plus uh, 50 is 90. Well, that's it. So a <clears throat> uh, little bit of customization and, uh, you know, you get the input from the user. So it actually, it's a input box is quite powerful when it comes to interacting with the user and getting the data in and then, you know, using it within your logic. Uh, I want. I would like to take a moment here. I'm, I'm kind of done with this input box, but uh, let me uh, kind of help you understand the power of 
uh, open option explicit one more time say for example input one input two you know kind of really doesn't help me or doesn't tell me what it is right uh, it says input it could be anything but to make it more realistic and more make it more user-friendly I could do something like I mean when I say user-friendly not the end user friendly but you know whoever is uh, maintaining the script or working with the script I could do you know number one and I could make this number two so now this tells me that okay I have num one num two oh, I'm gonna take this put it here I want to take this put it here so now it makes more sense name I'm gonna get the name here I'm gonna first number here I'm gonna get the second number here. add them and display it well that works really well right helps us so let me run the script enter your name global e running.com Enter your first number, I'm going to put 20, and I got an error. It says variable is undefined number one. Uh, let's see what's happening. What does it mean by undefined? Uh, we have option explicit, and we have to explicitly uh, declare the variable, but we haven't done it. It's number one here, but there's no such declaration. We have input one and input two. So that's the power of op option explicit. So you, you, we are forcing the script to do, you know, make us declare variables before using it. So in order to fix it, all we have to do is make sure that we declare the variables. Save the script. Let's run it. Enter your name, John this time, and number of 50. I'm gonna do 80. John, so 130, 80 plus uh, 50 is 130. Well, now it worked fine. So, so that's an, another demonstration of uh, you know how you can use an option explicit. It is really powerful. It really helps. I mean, when it's a small script, it really you know doesn't really help you much. But you know when you deal with multiple you know multiple scripts at the same time, and if the scripts are huge, you know 100 plus 200, 300 lines. The option explicit definitely really helps you and also you know when you get an error you actually see the line number where you have the problem so it kind of narrows you down to a specific area well that's it about uh, the input box I hope uh, you all um, learn something about the input box and uh, feel free to you know rewind back and you know watch this video multiple times to get a, a good understanding and also it is highly recommended to write your own scripts to learn it because no matter how many times you watch you know you are not going to get it and you may, you may it might look as if you're following it but you know you have to write the scripts yourself to get a good understanding and get a good experience writing the scripts. Okay, well, I believe that I have given you enough motivation to write your own scripts, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.